First speak to the mother or caregiver and ask what they have wrong with their child's eyes or vision. Ask the mother whether the child follows her movements with their eyes as they move about in front of them. Does the child smile at them when they silently smile at their child? If they wave their hand at their child, does the child try to copy this? Explain to the mother that you would like to examine the child's eyes to check they can see. Next, examine the child. To check if a baby can see, first sit the child on the mother or caregiver's lap. Make sure the child is comfortable. Speak to the child in a friendly voice and try and get down to their eye level if possible. If a child is upset, then spend some time to settle the child, either by feeding or giving it a toy to play with. If the baby is very restless, you may need to swaddle the baby with a cloth. Ask the mother or caregiver to hold the child so that they are looking straight ahead. You should sit facing them about an arm's length away. First look at the baby and ask yourself these questions. Are the eyes straight? Or is one of the eyes moving in towards the nose or out to the side of the head? Are the eyes wobbling? Is the child looking at your face? When you have the attention of the child, smile at them without making any noise. Do they smile back at you? When you have the attention of the child, move your face slowly from side to side, watching their eyes. Does the child follow the movement of your face? Then use a torch or arc light to see if the child can fix on the light and follow the light with its eyes. You should hold the light one arm's length away from the child and shine it towards their eyes. Slowly move the light from side to side. Watch the child's eyes to see if they are following the light. If the eyes are moving, then the child is able to fix and follow the light. Often it may only be one eye that cannot see. Therefore, you should try to cover one eye at a time and repeat the test of fixing and following the light using one eye. You can cover the eye with the palm of your hand or ask the mother or caregiver to cover one eye. You may need to use your fingers to gently open the eyelids. Remember your chart booklet and look for all the signs. If you do not have a torch, or if it is difficult to check if the child can follow the light, then you can use a toy instead of a torch. You can then repeat the test using a toy to see if the child will fix and follow the toy when you move it slowly from side to side in front of them. Once you have finished, classify what you have found according to the chart booklet. Remember to explain clearly to the mother what you have found and if there's anything she needs to do next. Now you need to identify the treatment. 